All right, Hoopty Army, Big Mike is on the men. We're headed out to go make something happen. Stick with me, find out what. Who's ready to go see what kind of mischief we can get into? Alrighty then, so surprise, surprise, we're back over here with my buddy Ken. Yes, we're going to get back on this old 452 cubic inch big block V8 for the Green Goblin. Go back that way. Because we are going to... No, go back that way, this way. This way? That Bronco's for sale. This way. Oh, that Bronco's for sale. If anyone's looking for a Bronco, hey, this hey, dude is... Miles original. It is immaculate. I mean, this dude. Ooh wee Are you kidding me? This dude is sexy. So, anyway. So, we brought over our box of goodies. Box of goodies. And uh, we're going to get started putting this old dude together here. And, well, finishing putting this dude together or whatever. And uh, he's calling this thing a pig. I call everyone a pig. <laughs> All right, I got to help this guy out. I don't want I don't want him straining one of them, you know what? So we'll be back in a bit. All right, and now we are going to put in the valley pan for real this time, and uh, ta-da! <laughs> and it's all done. Did he scare you? He scares me all the time. Anyway, moving right along. All righty, so. Anybody want to see what we got done today We're out here peddling in the shop? So <laughs> There it is She's looking sexier every day. You're talking about the engine not the Ford behind it, right? No I'm Talking about <laughs> this guy anyway, so as you may notice We got some bolts missing here. Well apparently I wasn't thinking that whenever I ordered this new water pump housing and water pump and all that, it didn't come with new bolts or nothing. So, yeah, dummy me. I'm not, we just kind of were peddling, wanted to see what it looked like with the alternator on and all that. And we're measuring for the pulley, for the belts and all that good stuff. So I'm going to have to get some bolts for that and... I gotta figure out what's going on with all this. I'm sure those go to uh, water nipples for the heater core and stuff like that. Or another one there, probably. Something with temp sending unit or something. I don't know, but anyway, there she is. She is looking good, looking better every day. And we're gonna have to put a spacer on the, under the carb here because, well, yeah that's in the way and uh so we're going to get this to hook up and it'll be better for it anyway apparently i don't know y'all know i'm just no hillbilly i don't know what i'm doing so anyway say thank you ken thank you ken <laughs> so i appreciate ken helping me out with this daggum thing man i wouldn't be able to do it on my own as y'all know you've seen me work on the hoopty but uh anyway <laughs> i love the blow up well we're we're gonna get off of here for now i gotta get a, a bunch more stuff that i had no clue you know i thought well we're really getting close and well the closer i feel like we're getting the farther away but we're a step forward two steps back we'll have her rocking and rolling here pretty soon and uh I guess till next time you know the drill like subscribe push the little notification bell share it with your friends tell them to join big mike's hoopty barn we only got about 74 more subscribers till 500 and we're gonna we get this thing in the charger and get that dude going we're gonna take her to the no-name nationals too you know what you ought to do what i got an epiphany uh -oh. you ought to have a contest for whoever can say or account or whoever can uh tell how many cranks it takes to fire it Oh, may you hear that? Kent's going to have a little call out there on who's going to guess how many turns it's going to take to fire this dude off. And uh, that sounds like a good idea. 
you tell me what you think down there in the comments. And uh, till next time, you keep watching, I'll keep working.